What's going on YouTube? Welcome to today's video. It is Monday, which is busy day. So we're gonna be getting into it. I'll be taking you along for the ride. We'll do a little bit of like full day of eating and just, you know, how's life? Uh, we got two scoops of PE science. We got the frosted chocolate cupcake, which is the goat. You said you to save 15%. And it is like around 4.45, woke up at 4.30 today. So just fed the dogs, if you can hear them munching, they're going to town. And I got a 140 milligrams of caffeine sipping this thing. And the important thing that I've been focusing on lately is you want sick pumps in the gym, you gotta make sure that you're hydrated because what's going into your muscles? A lot of fluid. So I got a big, or pretty big protein shake here going to be having this and then I'll have a big, uh, this new, like I guess a halfway full of water to make sure I have plenty of, you know, blood and water to go into the muscles, get a sick juicy pump so I can get sick juicy pics. So, you know, you can put them on Instagram. And then I'm going to have, this has been helping me a lot too. Uh, I got sodium tabs from Amazon. And this is like a, a gram of salt. Gram of salt, which is like what, 400 or 500 milligrams of sodium. So I'll have like one to two of these in the morning, and then I'll have like one probably like post workout. And that's been making a pretty good difference, along with like four scoops of high volume, like my pumps. So I'm gonna be having this. This is gonna be breakfast. I don't like having like solid meals before training because I don't like to vomit when I'm squatting. So this is what it is for today. So I'm gonna eat this up, get ready to train, and then we'll show a little bit of training, and then we'll definitely be taking you through the full day. Um, also, goals for today's day of eating is something like 250 grams of protein and eating 2,600 calories per day. Um, I've been cutting for a good amount of time. It's been over a month, down from 225 to 227, down to like 215, 214. Probably gonna cut to like 212. Uh, finish out the cut and work back up for another 10 months of bulking. Um, but yeah, things have been moving nicely and let's get this day started. All right, we are off to the gym. It is 5.15, should get there around 5.30. Rule of thumb for me is by the time I wake up to the time I'm at the gym should be about an hour, 45 minutes or an hour. Um, drinking a little bit of pre-workout and I threw in some alphamine in this one, which is, I thought it was just caffeine, but there's theanine and a couple other things that I did notice a large difference in like, you know, not just feeling energized, which would be caffeine alone, but like, I guess it's theanine or the other ingredients that it was actually like more focused, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, enjoying that for training. We're gonna head over, I'm joined by Nicole, and uh, <laughs> we're gonna go get this workout. All right, so we are in the gym now. We're getting started with a leg day. So first superset is going to be sumo squats and supersetting that with some curls because sumo squats is uh, super systemically taxing. So we're putting a curl in a superset with this. So I catch my breath as I'm doing curls. Sure. Um, so we're doing sets of 10 over here. They're going to go over there. We're going to do four sets. Um, yeah, this is set number three. So we're going to do that. What sumo squats, sumo squats are, trying to keep the shins vertical to the floor. So perpendicular to the floor and focusing on using these squats to hit the glutes more so. So we're going to set it. Yeah, every day that's you and me. All day that's us, boo. Came through that new thing. See, I don't know why I trust you. Crazy now, I'm just too on. Maybe now I'm just too gone. Maybe Looking for that same vibe that you on Cause I'm out here with my boys Going crazy in this bitch Overseas getting bent No Mercedes in this bitch We made the album nine months Had a baby in this bitch I'm with your bae on the run Like I'm Jay-Z in this bitch I don't smoke a lot but I get green But ball out, no SBs I caught you out, you got served with that beat style Alright, so next up we're gonna be doing RDLs And we're gonna be doing one test on setting triceps So RDLs, I 
orange boy with my dukes on weekends w Waking up at like six, man, you don't get paid if you sleep in Man, you don't know where I come from, you don't know what I've been through Realize I don't say shit about all the bread that I sent you You getting mad, I'm sitting back, I'm fucked up, I'm getting trash Gotta go watch two gold chains and a gold grill like Trinidad Tr Trick, I'm the man Alright, so we got lunges and we're gonna superset that with shoulders So lunges Primarily shoot it for the glutes with them, but also they hit quads a pretty good amount too. So, super set both, four sets each. Do it. That was tough. And my mouth was like going in my mouth. It's kind of like biting. It was like a bite the pillow through the pain kind of thing. But we survived the set, and we're gonna do some lateral raises. A couple things there, what I like to do with prone is uh, I get a better stretch when I allow my upper body to lift a little bit. I feel like I can get a really full hamstring stretch and then I kind of go into it a little bit to get a really full contraction. So you can argue that's a little bit of momentum, but it really lets me get like the full range of motion for the hamstring. So that's how I like it. I feel it better. So see what works for you, but also trying to maximize your ROM. But I'm gonna finish up here and we're gonna get some leg press. That's gonna be it. She took me out of my place, but I stay in my zone. Look me right in my face. She can see through my soul. I said, don't think about it. I said, don't think about it. She took me out of my place, but I stay in my zone. Look me right in my face. She can see through my soul. I said, don't think about it. I said, don't think about it. Take me out of my place, but I stay in my zone. Look me right in my face, she can see through my soul. I said, don't think about it. I said, don't think about it. Going on, we are back. So we are back home, post-workout meal, and this is the most important part of this video. The best drink of all time. It's always stocked up at my parents' house when we have a holiday party. Um, when we do uh, my college group. Um, events, we always make sure that the fridge is stocked with this. It is Pennsylvania Dutch, Pennsylvania Dutch Diet Birch Beer. If you guys find this, this is the stuff. Oh, no, I lost some. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, I'll clean that up eventually. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, we are gonna get into a post-workout meal. And what that is gonna be is a little bit of, uh, my favorite deli meat is boar's head buffalo chicken. Uh, super, super good. Uh, so we got a half pound of that. Let me do this again. So we have a half pound of that. I think it's something a little over 40 grams of protein or so. And then we have three pieces of bread. So I'm gonna make tacos because I am a chef. And this is 647 bread, another diet hack. This has seven grams of fiber per each piece of bread. Excuse me. And that's going to be very satiating, but also if you really want to like, I mean, dig into the nuance of it, um, fiber does technically have less calories, so technically, but I just say, keep your fiber consistent, keep your carbs consistent and you have control of your calories. So when you plateau, you're going to make adjustments based on that. So I'm rolling up the, 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 uh, chicken. So I rolled it up and you place it in here and then you have a little taco. Wow, I'm a chef. And then I'm gonna have three of those 
And I'm also gonna, I have a little over a pound of watermelon, 500 grams of watermelon. I just prepped a ton of watermelon, just cut it up into like little cubes. I got a bunch in the fridge. Nothing better than cold watermelon. Cause you kind of like go, you buy watermelon, you cut it up and you eat it immediately. Um, sometimes you just can't wait, but it's not as good as if you put it in the fridge for, you know, like 30 minutes or an hour. So pick this out of there, gonna be eating that. And I'll probably just be snacking on this. And I when I get into the office, I'm gonna be eating this now, sipping this good, good. And then after that, I got a lot of house updates that I wanna show you before we get in uh, to the office, which also I did on my own. So it may not be the best, but it, it gets stuff done. But I did some uh, some handy projects. It's 8.30, I have my first call with Brandon, our head assistant coach, at 9.30. Uh, so gonna eat this up probably um, by 8.40. We'll, I'll show you around a little bit. Post-workout meal is finished up, and now I want to give you guys a little bit of a house update. Wow, did you see that? There isn't a staircase here anymore. Because we got a kitchen here, and there used to be a staircase right here. It's a dining room, but this staircase is gone. Also, it used to go down into the basement. That's gone too. So very exciting stuff happened. We got the work that's been done, but we removed the second staircase. Um, remove the second staircase and then we covered up the basement stairs and we move them So now look at what it's done to this room um, It's really opened everything up so you can see the TV from the kitchen. So It's been awesome. This is definitely opened up the place and it just makes it feel I don't know more inviting or I don't know less closed off when you're in the kitchen and someone else is in the, the, the main room and then this used to be like a really weird kind of L-shaped uh, closet because it's underneath the actual stairs. So here's the, the stairs to upstairs. There's Elon. What's up, dude? Okay, see ya. So now there was like a weird kind of closet that was there and we just made that into what is now the basement stairs. So that's been redone. So that's like the big, big change and also the floors are done. So if you saw them before, they were kind of, I think like a reddish wood. Hey, like the floors, buddy? He loves them. So the floors are done. I don't know if this was here from last time, but the couch is in. And this is pretty much what this place is gonna look like. The next projects are, well, we got some big stuff going on in the backyard, but that was the biggest one. Uh, Nicole really wanted like an open concept. I also really wanted that too, to kind of have like kitchen flowing into like the entertainment row room uh and yeah this is really opening it up so this has been really cool um just have to get this closed up next once it passes inspection other thing is we used to have a lot of trees in the back kind of you know covering yeah there's just like a lot of trees i don't know if this is going to show but we got all the trees taken out so you see all that dirt and we got like a good like 18 feet back on our property just from clearing out a bunch of old uh old trees we didn't even like that much. Uh, and now we'll be able to put, we've been looking at trees at like tree farms. And I think it's, uh, I don't want to talk out of line, but it's just trees that'll be privacy trees. I don't know what they're called. They said, uh, because we have a lot of deer to do the green giant, but that doesn't look as good as the other one we were looking at, which is a green emerald. But once we have a fence put in, then it doesn't really matter with the deer because they won't be getting in. So that is one of the next projects and then getting the fence put up, which should be starting in a month or two. So exciting stuff. Just want to give you guys a little bit of a house update of how this thing is going. But the biggest project, the most important project is done. This place is a lot more open now. Uh, and then also, let me show you my office, which I've been working on. So here is the office and I changed these up. So now I got like these. I just have a thing for like wide open space. So I don't like a cluttered desk. I'd rather see just like a lot of like place for me to put stuff but I try to keep that stuff clean. It's a weird, weird thing for me but like 
It also gives me a place to put things so they're still accessible, but like kind of out of mind, but then also if it's important to get done within a week, it's still somewhere around that I keep seeing. So really been enjoying that. I got my the three monitors, which has been working since the our previous place time. But yeah, the cool thing about this is I actually ordered this wood, these um, desktops, and then the bottom is like an Ikea Alex drawers. And then I have the, the standing desk, so this thing goes up and down. But the, the desktops, your boy tried to be handy. Your boy took on a project. And I'm not gonna say that I did it absolutely correct, but uh, what I had to do is I had to sand these things down. Um, it was just like the butcher block wood. And I sanded it down, put on a stain, I think it was willow gray. Um, put on the stain, which that did fine. We didn't wipe off the stain, but I actually did like the color. So first mistake was I did not wipe off the stain. Then the other mistake, more importantly, was that I stained it, put on the polyurethane three coats with a, like a brush. And the brush won't lay things flat and like uniform. It won't be like perfectly flat. There's gonna be the kind of brush marks. So there's little crevices. It is very smooth because I use like car polish and that stuff. Um, so very smooth, but you can still, it's a little wavy, but uh, I kind of like how it looks. I mean, if you're really like picky, it's like, uh, you know, some, sometimes it doesn't look the best, but um, I, I did it. So it's one of those things where maybe it's not the best desk I've, I've seen worked on, but since I did it, it kind of has a sentimental uh, meaning, or I just put like 10 hours of work into it. And even though it's not perfect, I'm like, I put a lot of time in it. So that is the office update. And then probably you guys saw the sack out there is usually gonna be over here, but you know, the dogs got their doggy bed and we got the other one too. But those are pretty much the house updates. Want to show you guys what we've been working on. It's been a while, a lot of exciting things. When the, the thing thing was getting taken out, we had to move out for, we had to move, no, oh, yeah, we had to, now when that was getting worked on, I think we were good. But when the floors were getting done, because once you get them stained, you gotta be out for a week. So we were like moving around for like a week or two while it's all done. But now we are staying here. And with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed like the, the updates, where we're going with the house. The next two things is, you know, fence, some garden stuff, and then the bathroom, if we can get that done. And then we're taking, I'm like, we need, to, we need to stop spending all the money. We need to start making money. So excited for that. And so is Elon. You better not jump on those cookies, homie. That's what I thought. All right, let's get this workday started. All right, so next up, I'm gonna be having a little bit more watermelon. And then I'm gonna have a, should be having protein with it, but I'm gonna be waiting until the next meal because I'm not done with Brandon. So I'm having a snack while I talk to a snack. Um, and we're just doing our weekly meeting when we talk about the delivery for our clients in HFP. Uh, next up, uh, we got our enrollments meeting and then we got our weekly team huddle. So see you guys in a bit. So it is around 12.30 and we got, you can't see her, there she is. We got Yumi joining us. She usually just pops on my lap from underneath the, the desk at just random times. Um, so she's popped on, we got the next meal. And this time I need a little bit of protein. So we got some high protein skim milk up in here. I did two servings, but I already drank some. Uh, that'll be 26 grams of protein. And we got some protein popcorn, anabolic popcorn, uh, which is in Greg Doucette's kick cookbook. So I bought the friggin' cookbook. Um, that should also be a, a video coming out soon. We shot the video, but um, there's something I wanted to do before that we haven't got to, but this has been in the freezer. You have to make it in advance, put it in the freezer. Um, IMO syrup, it's pretty much like just, it's sweetener or a syrup that's pretty much just fiber. So this thing has a lot, a lot of fiber. I think it's something like 40 grams of fiber, but we like to live dangerously. But you can see there is just, it's protein popcorn. It's like, oh, it's super duper sticky. It's coated with uh, pretty much protein that syrup, so it kind of gets solid. And a nice coating. It's freaking delicious. I've been having this like twice a day. And that's, yes, it's a lot of fiber. Let's finish up that popcorn, it's phenomenal. So if you do get Greg's uh, cookbook, that is one of my favorite recipes. And a body popcorn, it reminds me of the Icon Meals popcorn. If you've been following me for a while, I had like 
I think on my trip to Ohio, I was like living off of that, but it's only got like, I think 10 grams of protein per uh, two or 300 calories. But this one has a lot more protein, a lot more fiber and keeps the fat weight down. So definitely like it. It does get a little bit sticky, even though like you, you freeze it for at least 30 minutes, but it's really, really tasty. All right, so just wanna to talk to you guys a little bit. Where have I been with the videos? And honestly, no excuses, just, not on the priority list, um, especially with like <laughs> just fitness in general. Um, like I'm on Instagram, uh, it's just a lot of content and I have like gotten this off like my to-do, like I do the filming and then Nicole will finish up the editing. Um, but ultimately, I mean, just doing a lot of content uh, with like Instagram, trying to put together some stuff for TikTok as well. Um, but I mean, ultimately like excuses are excuses, but I let it fall down on the priority list compared to, um, you know, things that actually, I guess in a way, push the needle, get more exposure. Um, cause I've just been on Instagram for a longer period of time, but then also, um, other things playing in is we've just been like trying to get the house set up. So it's been like this project's happening or right, we're moved out. So training isn't really like super as dialed as it could be. Um, and then just like things keep keep happening. I had a hiking trip this last weekend. So usually my filming days would be on the weekends, but then we've had like a lot of events. So life's just been moving, but ultimately, um, if you make something a priority, you can always make time for it, honestly. So this is on my busiest day on Monday and I'm making it happen. But also, I mean, this is something that I can definitely do. Just grab the camera for a little bit. And funny thing is this was just like packed up because I redid my office. We had the like all the floors and stuff. So then it was just like, you know, packed up upstairs for a good amount of time. But I'm um, trying to get back into you know, like our routine of this. It's just, hey, one day grab the, grab the camera um, and you know, start filming. But for, I think anyone on YouTube is like, okay, what do people want to see? Like, it's just like, you know, just film a workout and then like you're, like the video is done or like a full day of eating and that's it. Or like, you know, a whole day of what you do. Um, and I'm seeing more and more, I think that it's mostly just, you know, pick up the camera for the day and take a whole day through, including the training, including like what you're eating. Uh, just give like the whole experience. So we'll see. Um, definitely going to try to like, you know, get, get more videos out there. Um, and also be having fun with it and get these dogs on there because they like, they like being able to, the tubes. So next up in terms of my day, in terms of my Monday, we got, um, well, usually I have my, my sales meeting right now. Um, but my sales manager, Ben, uh, he is sick today. So we're probably just gonna be messaging about, um, what we got to do this week and talk about like how last week went. Um, and then next after that, we have our, our, our weekly huddle. So we have everyone from the company, on there, um, unless like people are like, you know, part-time and have like, you know, primary day jobs. Um, but we try to get everyone on, review how the last week went. Uh, and now we just, just added two people to our team. So we got 10 people on the team, which is insane, especially coming, thinking back to like when things started. So we got 10 people, two people on the team. The next two uh, hires are starting in mid June. So very, very excited. That's, I guess, that was the biggest project that was like keeping me busy because we had like interviews and all these things and that, that lasted like a month, but we got phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal people. Um, and we even, the people we couldn't take were phenomenal. So I see the flip side of when it's tough, but uh, even when I was like going through in like college, like interviews, it's like, all right, like, I think they want me. And then you say no, but like sometimes there's just so many qualified people, you can't take everyone. And there's... Yeah, we've had some amazing people that I had to say no to, also some like dear friends of mine, but um, ultimately you, you can't bring everyone on at once unless we grow that fast, which that'll be that'll be the goal. But I'm gonna stop rambling. Just wanna let you guys know, I mean, like where I've been on YouTube, um, I think that this is way more intimate, kind of intimate relationship than like Instagram. It's just like a picture or just a quick video. Um, and then also, you know, like TikTok, quick video. Um, but like YouTube is where you're actually like, you know, hanging out for 10, 20 minutes or something and seeing if you actually would want to hang. So, <laughs> and also we just dropped the, we got the A7S three and then it's not getting that much mileage. So we got to make sure we get this thing some use. Um, so looking to get back on our YouTube momentum and get this thing, you know, consistent, but I'm gonna get ready for the huddle and then I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Alrighty, what's going on? So we finished up the team huddle and everything. Stop playing fetch with the dogs. 
going to be having a protein bar, P Science peanut butter protein bar. So I want a little snack. It's around 2.20. I got a call, an hour long call in like 10 minutes. That's going to be with my mentor and some other coaches. We're going to be learning some stuff. Um, so going to eat this up, get that done, and I'll probably be in here doing a little bit of work and maybe I'll get some more watermelon. I cut a lot of watermelon. So we'll get into that. And also, on the huddle, um, my boys were saying, hey, they like this shirt. So this shirt is from Alpha Lee and it's dropping on June 5th, I believe. My favorite thing they've launched, um, probably for this upcoming launch, but I guess some stuff still coming. It is the Monarch collection, and it's kind of like a thermal. When I was younger, I always wore thermals. Um, it's not like the waffle one, like the waffle kind of cut, but it's pretty stretchy, very, very soft. The material is really good. Um, and it comes in long sleeves and it comes in short sleeves. The short sleeves though, Nicole prefers those, but it wasn't as snug on my arms as I like it. So I did wear a large, but I wasn't filling that out. So I just gotta get bigger. But um, these are really nice, my favorite. I'm probably gonna try to get every color in the long sleeve and probably get, to make Nicole happy, I'll probably get a couple in the short sleeve as well. But I'm gonna eat this up, learn some stuff, and I'll probably do some office work uh, for the meantime. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so now what we're gonna do is just get a little snack. It's around four, which is between four or five is usually when I like to have dinner. I think someone just dropped off the package. Or someone's about to break in. So we got some watermelon, and this is the last of it. I'm gonna miss it, so tomorrow I'm picking up some more watermelon. Uh, and then I'm finishing up, we have some turkey breast here, so a little deli, deli that, and we got a piece of bread. So I'm gonna eat this, it's kinda like a, a glorified snack, I think there's gonna be like 30 grams of protein or something. I wanted way more watermelon, but I finished it. So I guess I'm only gonna have like a couple pounds of watermelon today. So I'm gonna eat this up, and then we have been doing HelloFresh. So two companies I've been working with, but not like, you know, like sponsored videos, but if they wanna hit me up. Um, so HelloFresh, we've been cooking with that. Mainly Nicole has been cooking. So around this time, she'll like get started cooking and then we'll all eat together. Nate's moved in with us again. So we have, <laughs> we're splitting the two servings into, you know, three meals. Um, so that's what we've been doing recently. Um, and HelloFresh has been delicious. And Nicole says she likes cooking, but we both don't like the planning that has to go into, like what are we gonna eat? And then also, you know, um, preparing it all, getting like not too much for two people or three people in this case. So it's been nice to just have that like sent over. We cook it, well, she cooks it, and then we get to eat together and I get a good meal out of it. Um, but for now, snack, we got watermelon, a piece of bread, and a little bit of turkey. This is why I don't do the cooking. So Nicole should be back in an hour or two. She's also, she's picked up another job as well. Um, that gets, gets a little bit more use out of her um, She's really talented when it comes to like art and drawing. So she found something to, you know, satisfy that craving, I guess you could call it. But I'm gonna eat this and stop rambling. Rambling, so I'll see you in a bit. Gonna have some of this, greens and superfoods. So it's like freeze dried mushrooms and a bunch of different, you know, greens. So I recommend to eat your vegetables, especially if you're dieting, high satiety, high volume, low calorie dense foods, but this is a nice good like assurance on top of a multivitamin. So I get that in anyway. And it's been, this one actually like tastes pretty good. I put in a Gatorade Zero, and I won't say it's the most appetizing of colors, but it's actually pretty good. So I'm gonna drink this up. It's closing in on six. Just been pretty much relaxing, getting some work done um, since earlier. And we got dinner coming up soon, so I'm excited. What we're having from HelloFresh, it's like some kind of chicken action, so excited. It's dinner time. So we got the HelloFresh Monterey Jack chicken, if you can see what that looks like. Yeah, angles, hope that worked. All right, and then we got this action. So Chef Nate, oh, there we go. So we got some green beans action, we got some patats, and a little bit of chicken because we are splitting it among three people. Thanks, Nate. No problem, dude. So this is probably gonna be a little snack. So, so we just had the final meal, and well, this is technically the final meal, or this dessert, but these things are like nothing. These like kind of cake poppy things. So this is very, very light. So not many calories. These are 45 calories each. They got a chocolatey drizzle, which is super cool. If you can't see it, there it is. And they're about 45 calories. 
Um, each, I'm gonna be a little bit under in calories though, so I'm gonna eat three of these. That's gonna be dessert. I'd rather have enlightened though, but that's another 10 calories. They're like Skittles gummies. Very good. Tastes even better when you're dieting. So my total macros for today, 44 fat, we'll get to that. 44 fat, 283 carb, protein was 248. That works out to 2,520 calories, so a little bit under the goal of 2,600, but your boy wants to get this cut done, so I'm fine with it, and I'm not like starving. I just had a pretty solid meal. Mondays are my more men mentally stimulating day, so it's easier to be on a little bit less calories. Tip, pro tip for when you're cutting, don't lay around the house watching Netflix all day. Get up, get busy, play fetch with the dogs, stay busy and you'll forget that you're hungry. Had 90 grams of fiber, 90. That's a lot of fiber, so we'll see how that one goes, but it's good that I squatted today and did deadlifts today, so tomorrow won't have any issues, hopefully. Um, so ultimately, the fat was pretty low. I like to be in maybe like the 50 to 60 range, but today was a lot of watermelon and just a lot of low fat foods. For me, it's very easy when dieting to keep fat kind of low and keep carbs a little bit higher, but as a, a natural who's not on exogenous um, extra vitamins, you do still want to get a fair amount of fat, something like you know 0.3 to point, uh, 0.2 to 0.3 grams per pound body weight. Um, so that's going to pretty much close out the video. Um, a little bit under my calories. Going to eat these drizzle pops, and that's going to do it. So thank you guys for hanging out with me for a Monday. Feels good to be back and you know getting on this thing thing. Um, it's definitely something I should be able to do more often, just bring the camera around. Because Nicole, you're gonna be editing this this week, right? Yeah. She sounds so excited. But I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Keep it flexible, I'm out.